This week on Rangeless. The sun is shining and we are having the ultimate day in Chirgao. What are we doing today? We're surfing. It's my first lesson. I don't know what to expect. This is my rental board. Yeah. My instructor started me off on land, practicing body positioning and popping up slowly. Wow. More right, a little bit. More right. More right. Yeah, yeah. Then I down. I look straight. Not ready to hang 10 yet? Not quite. Then it was time to catch some waves. Or not. Let's try that again. Now we're getting places. While Ryan is still surfing, I popped out of the water and let's go over renting a board or the basics of getting an instructor in here in Chirgao in general and now. Super easy. So we decided to come down to a little cafe. It's called Kokomoko. If you're looking at Cloud Nine, like from the land, it's the left side. So it's gonna be super beginner friendly. It's really gentle. There is reefs and stuff underneath, but your instructor will go over how to fall correctly to do everything you can to avoid any kind of like injury or scratches or anything like that, but it is surfing. So there are, you know, dangers and risks that come with it. Aboard the going rate right now at the time we're filming this is 200 pesos an hour, which is a little bit under $4. It is what it is. Now your alternative is when you rent your bike, get a board rack on the bike and you can rent boards by the week, the month, two weeks, however long you're staying and you can get a board. That way you're going to get a better deal. A lot of times that you can get a board for like 250, 300 for a day. Now instructors are the going rate is 500 for an hour, a thousand for two hours. Now that's standard. You might be able to like work with an individual if you're going to do like multiple lessons with them. A lot of times people are very willing to do a little bit of negotiation back and forth if you're going to be here doing surf lessons every day for two weeks. If you come and you do not know how to surf, if you surf every single day for two weeks, the standard person is going to be able to leave being able to have like basic understanding of paddling into a wave and standing up. You are not ready to uh, go pro or anything, but about two weeks of surfing every day will give you a foundation of, of confidently being able to surf. But everyone's different. I mean, I've been surfing since I was 11 and I am not good. So, and I'm not confident, but I also broke my eye socket. So that's a whole nother story. I think that's about it. Ryan's loving it though. Whew. That was really good. I got up. I, I got up like, I don't know how many times, like seven or eight times. That was a lot of fun. It started to get a little bit crowded though and I got a bit nervous when there were people like right next to me on the same wave and I was like, how do I steer? I don't know how to steer. So I just fell off. But I'm really happy I got up. I would stay out here all day except couldn't just... I did an hour and I was done. Yeah. I was paddling and it's just the fact that you feel like you're not going anywhere when you're paddling. <laughs> you feel like you're not really moving. It's just... <sighs> Our next stop was about a 45 minute drive north. The Magpapunko Rock Pools. But first, we had to pay the environmental fee. 120 for two? Yep. Thank you. Let's go. I had a great time this morning surfing and the weather's still good, which is rare that there hasn't been a rain shower or a storm this time of year. To make the most out of the day, we came up to the Magpapunko rock pools. The best time to come, I've heard, is low tide. The only time you can see the rock pools is low tide, because when the tide comes in, they're under the water. Right. Yeah, and you can jump off the rocks into the pools and all of that. There's a lot of people over there. Brian already jumped off the rocks and he said the tide's coming in and the current's strong. So I might have missed my opportunity. Sure, they were clearing people out of there a few minutes ago. And I came back to tell Britt, so we're heading back over there now and see if we can still get a couple of jumps in before they close it. The current was too strong to wade through the water, so that left us with no choice but to climb across the sharp volcanic rocks. To climb over these rocks, you need proper sandals. You're not going to do it in flip-flops. They fall off, and these rocks are really, really sharp. We gotta hurry or else we're not gonna be able to, to do it. When we got into the pools, 
The currents were very strong, pushing us back towards the beach. But we still managed to squeeze a few jumps in before the pools were closed. The rock pools really are something special. Every day at low tide, the pools are left filled with the beautiful blue water and local families and tourists gather to swim and leap from the rocks. We weren't there long before the currents got dangerously strong and the lifeguards closed the pools. So it was back across the razor sharp and slippery rocks to the beach. How do I feel about those rock pools? My shoes broke with every step I took. Yeah, don't come here in flip flops. You need like proper sandals or yeah, and you water can't, shoes. You can't do it barefoot. So like Yeah, it's like have... coral. It's hard and pointy. And pointy, yeah. If you're coming here, come here like an hour before low tide. So that the tide is going out when you get here. We got here just after low tide and the tide started coming in. They started closing the pool until we're gonna get out. And it's dangerous too when the tide's coming in. It like will knock you over very, very quickly. Yeah. So it was cool, it's beautiful but I didn't have proper footwear, so I didn't enjoy it as much as I could have. This beach alone, though, is a beautiful beach, so it's a great day to come for a beach day. Yeah, this is a really nice beach. There's some places to get food here, there's drinks. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice here. It's really nice. It's also close to another attraction. The Mason Bridge River. River. It's about one o'clock. The sun is very strong. Ryan is properly sunburnt. Yep. So we're thinking we're going to go take a little drive and see if we can take, go from some salt water to some fresh water, get a little dippy dip going, and maybe pre be protected by the trees. So Ryan Sunburn. I didn't see too many trees there, but we'll see. A lot of them blew down, but there's probably more trees there than there are here. And Ryan is... I am sunburned. I do like it here. The pools are really cool. The pools are cool. Yeah. Just, I didn't have the right footwear, so by the time I got out there, I was angry. Don't bring shoes or flip-flops that could fall off. Wear okay. something with a strap that won't come off. Like adventure sandals, even sneakers, like if you just yeah, have like running even sneakers old or something. sneakers. Bring them, wear them, it'll make your life a lot easier. Me for the bike, okay? Thank you. Over here. So with the parking, everyone's like, as you're driving down the road, everyone tries to flag you in, flag you in, come here, come here, come here. Like, if the parking is the same price at every lot, so you may as well just come to the closest one. There's no point in, like the guy wanted me to go in there, like halfway back the road. We're gonna ride these wild hogs, ride again. That's a good scooter. The Mason River Swing is about 25 minutes from the Magpapunko rock pools. We got stopped at a police checkpoint along the way, but they were only checking for helmets and licenses, so we were fine and we carried on. Looks pretty cool. Oh, it's a shame they don't have the swing anymore, but they have a diving platform. 40 for both? Uh, yeah. Okay, just turn right to get inside. Okay, okay. thank you. I 
Oh no, this is kind of fun. Look at all the birds of paradise flowers. Yeah. This is pretty. I like this. And it wasn't too expensive. It was 20 pesos a piece, so it was 40 together. Mm -hmm. So that's well under a dollar for both of us. I like this. <laughs> I thought it was just this little walkway, and I was like, where are we gonna put our bags? Like, what are we gonna do? But there's all this. And there's like nobody here. Yeah, that's like quiet. That. That's nice. About 17. Probably about 17, yeah. Do you want to try to fit in another um, adventure today, like another spot? We saw online that there was a cave pool just six minutes drive from the Mason River Swing and decided to check it out. I love this bird of paradise little trail. Thank you. 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 Oh, we still have to pay the man 20 pesos. Yeah, for parking. Yes. We even put a nice piece of wood on our bike so it don't get too hot on the seat. Yep. That's I like that. That's that's the kind of service I like. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, this one. No. We pulled up by the sign and paid the entrance fee of 100 pesos per person. They told us we needed a guide and to tip him at the end. We weren't expecting much from the cave, just a small cave with a swimming hole outside it. So we were definitely surprised when our guides started prepping us with helmets and head torches. I was definitely a little apprehensive as we started hiking down into the jungle. One of my biggest fears is getting stuck and drowning in a cave. When I saw we had to wade through knee deep water and climbed onto a rope just to get into the cave, I started to get really nervous. The cave then opened up into a large flooded chamber with water too deep to wade through. So we had to climb onto a slippery bamboo raft and climb along it with a rope to cross the deep water. <laughs> then our guide lit our head torches and led us down into the deep, dark unknown. We had to wade our way through chest deep water, climbing over rock formations and squeezing through crevices in the dark. I was nervous before coming down into the cave, but now we were excited. Our adrenaline was pumping and we felt like explorers as we venture deeper underground through the darkness. Our guide was great and helped us through the difficult sections and pointed out some of the rock formations along the way. Oh, it does look like a jellyfish. Rocks. 
Ryan, you love rocks. Love rocks. After about 30 minutes of exploring underground, we finally saw a light peeking in from outside. Ooh, this is sinky. Yeah. Quicksand. As a child, I thought I was going to have a big problem with quicksand in, in life. It never happened. It never happened until now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're back. <laughs> we're, we made it all the way through. <laughs> okay, We had to fight against the current trying to pull us back into the cave. But we finally oh, made yeah. it to the swimming hole. The swimming hole was deep with no yeah. current. Perfect for a rope swing. There was also a 10 foot diving platform at the end, Woo! which was a lot of fun to jump off. Three, two, one, one! Then it was time to head back through the jungle. I'm pretty proud of myself for jumping up that tall one. That was really fun. It was really fun. I don't think we almost didn't come and do it today. I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it too, it was really fun. We made it back. We went under the road. Cool. I loved it. That was really fun. Gotta tip the guide. Thank you. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I'd recommend it. Me too, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like better than a lot of things that you could do here. And it's, and it's not, super affordable. It's affordable. And it's not like a full day. It's like just like a smaller thing. And it's exciting. Like they and put the helmets exciting. on you, the yeah. head torches, you can't see anything. And you're like, doing it's pretty unhinged. Yeah. It's super unhinged. Yeah. I think we made it. Look at them palm trees. Oh, oh yeah. This is actually pretty magical. When you're just driving by it, you're just like, oh, cool. But this is magic. I love it. It really looks like nothing when I drove when we drove by. But it's magic. It makes me want a coconut real bad. Just outside of the Mason River jump, there's this long stretch of palm trees, a straight road going straight through all the palm trees. Really, really cool. It's it's amazing. Then just around the corner from here is this beautiful overlook over overlooking all of these palm trees. It's like a sea of green. I don't think I've ever seen so many palm trees in my life at one spot. This is a palm tree overlook. And we're about 30 minutes outside of General Luna. What do we do now? I was going to say beers on the beach. Oh, yeah. Beers on the beach. Beers on the beach. What time is it? Happy hour. Let's go find a beer spot on the beach. We got to go to the beach. It's almost sunset to Cafe Kokomo. Hello. Oh. Uh, is it happy hour? We found a pier. We're gonna see if we can go inside of it, I guess. There's a gap. I saw a person walk in.
finally a nice sunset. Philippines has the best sunsets and we haven't really gone to any since we've been here. Where do you want to go? Up, up there. there. Oh, up there. Up, up there. there. Yeah. I think we're about to get kicked out. We just had a snack. And as we're eating our mangoes, I see a man with security on his back of his t-shirt. And he's looking up here. And I'm pretty sure he's locking the gate, so I'm not sure how we're gonna get out. But let's do it, let's do it. Okay, let's try to find our way out of here. I like this pool they have. Me too. So they got like little stairs down. That's nice. We found our way out. No one kicked us out. They just stared at us. <laughs> so we left. But that's fine because I'm starving and want dinner. And I saw this local place that we've been passing like every day. And it says like bone broth, unlimited rice, coldest beer. I think there's something for everyone in that statement. My hands smell like mangoes. I like that. I am so hungry. I'm ready to go for food. If you don't get on, I'm gonna leave it out you. I'm hungry. This is the spot. Oh yeah, they be open. Can I get one bulalo, uh, spring rolls, and then uh, red horse? So we passed this place a few times. We're a little bit early for dinner, but at like high dinner time, this place is packed out. So all day long, you can see these giant pots, like just like with the fire, the flame underneath them, like all day. What we ordered was bulalo. Please tell me how to say it in the comments because I know I'm butchering it. But it is like a beef bone broth that looks absolutely incredible. And then we also have been saying we want some veg. So we got the vegan soup, which is like a mung bean, cabbage, onions. We've had this before and it's really, really good. And they have unlimited rice. We also have the coldest beers in town and we got the iciest beer. But I'm gonna try some of this broth because it looks like it just has like all the goodness. This is like a delicious bone broth soup. I wanna try this can eat. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And we just got spring rolls. You know like when you do a pot roast and like the meat like falls apart and it's like super stringy and it just like melts? That's that's the meat in there. I'm gonna do a bite of the mung bean, or the vegan soup here, but it's like a mung bean soup. A lot of ginger, a lot of black pepper, a lot of mung beans. That's delicious. I like this. Work. My favorite is the spring rolls. Oh, that's vinegar, nice. Mm. You can see the steam coming off it, but it's really good. Super fresh. Mm-hmm, just made them. I'm gonna have to come back to that one. It is too hot. I don't know what a mung bean is, but I know I like them. Oh. Power just went out. <laughs> Always an adventure. Yep. Up oh, and there's the floodlight. People pay extra for dining in the dark, you know. That's the best meal we've had since we got to the Philippines. I don't know why we weren't going there before, but I really liked it. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like the power's out.
We just got back to the hostel. We're both exhausted and really, really satiated from that dinner. Looks like the power's gone out everywhere in town, not just where we were eating. So there's no power here at the hostel either. So we're gonna call it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button because together we're rangeless.